it's tutorial time what is up you guys my name is lily i'm a fiber artist and knitwear designer and i like to make things so if you guys don't know in addition to making my silly little videos and posting on my silly little instagram i also make made to order knit and crochet on my website foodbizu.co and one of the things i sell is the bow top that i made in a previous video and so i had an order for one of them and i just thought i'll film a little tutorial of how i did it because a few people asked for it and that's what we're getting into today because i don't have a lot of time it's giving two birds one stone with the vibes but let's Let's just get right into it. All right, materials needed. So you're gonna need a 48 stitch central knitting machine, just under 400 grams of DK weight yarn, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, scissors, and some stitch markers. So I have my little ball of acrylic waist yarn here and we're gonna start and finish every single panel with waist yarn to have the best, most crisp edges. And we're gonna start by casting on stitches three through 47 in the panel setting. So we're starting on the back panel just for context and I just cast it on until stitch 47 and now we're just going to crank back and that was our first row so we're going to do like 10 to 15 rows of waist yarn and I'll meet you right back. Okay slay so I just did 10 to 15 well I did like 10 rows it doesn't matter it just you need a little bit of a buffer so I just finished my waist yarn rows and I'm going in with this cute little tan color because that's what my custy ordered my customer custy sounds like an insult almost <laughs> and I'm just gonna pull this down so the way that you pull in a new color is just putting it in the feeder and literally just cranking <laughs> and as you can see it's getting sucked down by all the hooks So I just finished five rows, as you can see, it's starting to come along. And for the back panel, we're gonna do 105 rows. So 44 stitches for 105 rows, and then I'll meet you right back here. Okay, slay, slay, slay. So we just finished our body yarn and I'm just gonna cut that off and remove it from the feeder. And now we're just gonna go in with 10 to 15 more rows of acrylic waist yarn. Okay, cool, just finished my waist yarn and now we're just gonna pop this bad boy off the machine, which you can do by just turning it twice. Bing bong, and that is our back panel done. It is front panel time. So I'm gonna start by casting on until stitch 25. And then you're just gonna put it on the feeder and crank it. And I'm obviously using my acrylic waist yarn. Just did 11 rows of my waist yarn and I'm going to take that out of the feeder and go in with my body yarn. Okay, so I just did three rows of my body yarn and we're gonna do 105 rows just like the back. So you're gonna do 22 stitches for 105 rows and I'll meet you right back. So this is a really small panel because it's supposed to be half the size of the back panel and we're gonna make a second one so they'll connect to be one full panel. Anyways, be right back. finished my 105th row for the arm panel and now we're gonna go in with our waist yarn for 10 to 15 rows and now we're just gonna pop it off the machine Bing bong, and that is the front panel done so we're gonna do two identical panels of the front panel so this is one do the exact same thing one more time and then we'll have the full front piece finished and next we're gonna go in for the arm panels which you'll also make two of these so for the arm panel we're gonna start by casting on with our waist yarn until stitch 38 and then we're gonna do 10 to 15 rows of waist yarn and now we're gonna go in with our body yarn Bro, that almost broke my machine. <laughs> I just did five rows and we're gonna do 130 rows for the arm panel. So stitches three through 38 for 130 rows. Let's do it. Okay, 130th row is done and now we're gonna go back in with our waist yarn. Okay, slay. And now we're just gonna pop this panel off the machine. This one was not as satisfying. Yes, and that is your arm panel. So just like with the front panel, you're gonna make a second arm panel that is identical because we have two arms. And I'll meet you right back to show you how to remove the waist turn. Okay, hotties, so these are the panels we made. We have two arm panels, two front panels, one back panel, 
And now I'm gonna show you how to remove the waste yarn on the tops and bottoms of all the panels. You are gonna need your little crochet hook. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter and your little skizzers and your body yarn. So basically when you remove the waste yarn, all you're doing is securing this final row of stitches so it doesn't unravel just like a bind off. As you can see, we have our first stitch here and we have this like taller loop. I'm just gonna stick my crochet hook into the taller loop and attach my yarn. And then you're gonna just chain one. And then all we're gonna do is single crochet into the bump of our final row. So I'm gonna stick my hook into that bump and do a single crochet. This is why it's important to use a high contrast waist yarn so you can easily see those bumps. And you're just gonna do that all the way down the row. Okay, and then once you have gone into your last stitch, you're just gonna chain one and cut off. And then as you can see, the last one is kind of loose with that body yarn, the last stitch. So I just like to tighten it and then tie these two ends together. If the loose working end is on the right side when you start, just do this when you attach your bind off yarn. So I just like to tie it together and now it's totally stretchy and secure. And then all you have to do is unwind this. Boom, you can reuse this for your next project. And then we have this super neat end. So we're gonna do that for the top and bottom of all of our panels. And then I will meet you back to start the assembly process, yay. Just wanted to mention, so with the arm panels, I decided to bind off with a half double crochet instead of a single crochet because it just makes it a lot stretchier and I don't want my arms to be constrained. So everything else is a single crochet bind off, but this is gonna be a half double crochet for the arm panel. Waste yarn is removed on all of our panels and now it's time to assemble. So we're gonna start with our two front panels. As you can see, I have them here pinned together and we're just going to slip stitch the first six rows of both panels together. So like I said, I have them pinned right sides together for the first six rows and I low-key think I'm just gonna use this extra yarn and slip stitch with this and then we're just gonna pull through and then chain one and then once you've done that you're just gonna pull through and now it's stuck together for the front. Next assembly step is to attach the front and back panels together at the shoulders. So I have them pinned together here, right sides together, and I've, I've pinned 13 stitches together. So I just counted 13 on both sides and pinned it. So I've just attached my yarn and I'm just gonna connect these two with a single crochet and not a slip stitch because it's a little stretchier and more comfy. <laughs> Okay, slay. So first 13 stitches were single crocheted together and then this is what it looks like on the other side. Just do the same thing for the other shoulder and then the next step is going to be attaching the arms. Little shoulder update. So I decided to actually connect 11 stitches instead of 13 on the shoulder. The head's um, opening was just a little too small. So second shoulder is attached and this is what it's looking like. Cute, hotty, hot. And so obviously the next step is to attach the arms. This part is a little tricky, but we got this. So to attach the arms, because it has the cutouts on the outside of your arm, I need to attach the arms with the seam facing up, like so, okay? So I am going to start out by slip stitching the body of the garment until this point, and then leaving this arm opening when we'll attach the arm at that point. So this is 31 rows. So I just counted 31 rows on both the front and back panels, and then I pinned here. So that's how much space you're gonna have for your arm opening. And now we're just gonna slip stitch this part here. I also recommend pinning as much as you can when you are assembling two knit panels together because it can be easy for them to become off like with the stretch and everything. So I've just pinned every 20 rows on both panels to make sure it's totally aligned. And now we're just gonna slip stitch until the arm opening. Okay, just finished slip stitching one side together as you can see here and now we're going to attach the arms okay so here's the tea um i have the arm opening right here and i basically just pinned the arm panel around the opening right sides together with the middle point of the arm panel touching the armpit of the body panel and then the two open sides they connect at the shoulder seam of the garment. So 
What we're gonna do is half double crochet around this in like a U shape and um, that's it. So we're just gonna half double crochet around this in a U shape. You wanna make sure it's as stretchy as possible so it can fit your little arms inside. All right, so I just finished half double crocheting in that little U shape for the arm. And this is what it looks like. So here we have like the front panel, the back panel, and now the arm is attached like so. And then we have like this opening, which we're gonna put the cutouts in. So do the exact same process on the other side to attach the other arm. And then we're gonna jump into the final steps, which is the cutouts and the bows. Once you have both of your arms attached to your top, the next step is to do the half double crochet linings of the open parts of the panels and then connecting the two sides of the panels together. So I have pinned all the way down my arm and this is where we're gonna have our connections and our bows. I put a stitch marker every 20 rows of both sides. So I just counted 20 rows on both sides and then connected. Counted 20 on both sides, connected. Counted 20, both sides connected. This will just make sure you have the most even connections that are equally distant apart, but also on the same part of both sides of the panel. So once you're done pinning, we're going to attach our yarn. We're gonna chain one, and then we're just gonna do half double crochets until we reach our first stitch marker. As you can see, this is what it looks like. And then once I reach my stitch marker, I just pull it out of that side. And then I'm just gonna stick it into that half double crochet. So now we know what half double crochet we're gonna connect to when we do the pass on this side. And so you're just gonna continue that process of doing a line of half double crochets on this side and then replacing the stitch markers in the half double crochet when you reach them. And then on the other side, we'll do the connections. So I just reached my last stitch marker here and now we're just gonna go around this oval. And then once you reach the stitch marker, you are going to simply slip stitch into the stitch across on the other side of the panel. And then you're gonna remove your stitch marker. Just continue half double crocheting right away. And then as you can see, it's now connected with a slip stitch. So that's literally all you have to do. Just continue doing that to the end of the arm. And then you're gonna also half double crochet around the opening of the sleeve and connect with the slip stitch here. And then once you're done, it'll look like this all the way down the sleeves. And then you are just gonna chain one, go all the way around the sleeve opening with half double crochets. And then once you get to the end, you're just gonna connect with a slip stitch in that first half double crochet and then cut your work. Bing, bang, bong. And that is how you do the arm cutouts. Love, love, love. Obviously you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other arm, which I've already done here. And then the next step is to do the same thing on the front of the top. As you can see, I've already have it pinned here. The difference is that you're gonna pin first at 30 rows from both sides. And then after that, you're gonna pin every 15 rows of both sides for a total of five pins. And then you'll have a little extra just like on the sleeves. So repeat the exact same process, half double crocheting around and connecting, and then half double crocheting at the hem as well and then the next step is to do our little bows now it's time to show you how to make these cutie little bows so you're gonna grab your crochet hook and your yarn the bow is comprised of a shorter little chain and then a circular chain that we like sort of fold in half so we're gonna make the shorter ends of the bow now so basically you're just gonna like kind of guess how long so it's gonna be about this long and then you're gonna fold that over a few times so you have some extra yarn on the end and then you're gonna do a slip knot insert your hook and with the loose end you're gonna wrap it around your hook and then with the live end you're gonna pull through wrap it around your hook pull through so we just did five this shorter chain needs to be 15 just finish 15 and then you're just gonna pull through just the live end and then cut off. So this is gonna be the little end of the bow. And then we're gonna make a chain about twice as long for the next part. You want the ends to be pretty long on this one because you're gonna use them to attach your bow to the cutouts. This one is gonna be 34 chains long. 
Okay, just did 34 and then you're just gonna cut off. And now we're gonna turn this into a circle. So grab your darning needle and you're gonna put these two ends in the darning needle. It's a little easier if you cut off like that. Now we're gonna just weave them into the other end. And then you're creating this little circle. And then you, I like to go back to the other end. And then one more time. And now you're going to find the halfway point on the other side. Stick your needle through like that. As you can see, it's coming together. And then you're gonna count seven on this because you wanna insert it in the middle point. So I'm gonna count seven. And then the eighth chain right here is where we're gonna push it through like that. And now we have our cute little bow except the last step is to wrap these little ends around three times. One side is counterclockwise like this and the other side will be wrapped clockwise like that. And the other one I'll wrap the other direction. And now we can tie a little knot. And now you have your little bow. It's like so cute, cute, cute. I have two bows here. You're gonna weave in the ends on this side, on the end here. And then we're gonna use these two back ends to tie into our cutouts. We're gonna need a total of 17 bows for all the cutouts on this top. Once you have your 17 bows, I'm gonna show you how to connect them. Attaching the bows is really simple. We have our little cutout here. And as you can see, there's a little opening on the left and right side. All you're gonna do is stick your hook in from the inside out. And then you're gonna grab the left end right there and pull it through. And then you're gonna stick your hook into the right side inside out and then grab the right end and then pull it through. And then all you're gonna do is tie a little knot on the inside. And now your little bow is attached. It's literally that easy. So you're gonna connect bows to all the little points down the arm and that's like the final step. And then the final, final step will be to line the neck opening with half double crochets just to finish it and make it look nicer. And then weave in all your ends. And then it's time for the cutie little reveal. You guys got this. And that's the tutorial, you guys. Do you like the finished product? I really love this top. It's so, so cute. However, it is honestly a big pain in the arse. Every single time I make this, I always think it's gonna be so easy. And then I get to the bows and I'm like literally Kill me, making 17 bows and then attaching them and weaving in the ends is the seventh circle of hell in my opinion. But please make this. I mean, don't be afraid, don't be alarmed. I'm being a little bit dramatic. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I would be happy to help you. I'll definitely see them. If you like this video and you like DIYs and crafty girl things, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm always making new things and I'm having so much fun making these videos for you guys. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, and I like to make things. Okay. Okay, so it, okay. And I have them, okay, <laughs> don't talk. First 13, <laughs> First 13 stitches were single crocheted together. I just pull it out of that side. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs>